weekly tarot and angel card messages. I am right now here in my studio where I work from. The background which you can see is my altar with my gods. And um, I am a big fan of Buddha. And that's what you'll see on my altar back there. So for the card, uh, for the messages for the week, for tarot, I'll be using the Osho Zen tarot cards. And for angel messages, I'll be using the daily guidance um, messages from the angels by Doreen Virtue. So let's get started on what do angels have in store for us and what, do the, what does it tarot have to say for the coming week ahead. So let's just shuffle the cards and pick one card, one tarot card to see what is the energy for the week starting 1st of April 2019? It's the first financial, it's a new financial year, start of a month and let's see what this month is bringing up. So I've got the card number 17, that's silence uh, from the major arcanas. This card is about knowing the truth. It's about the awareness that you know what's really going on around you you are aware of the things you know what's the truth around you and yet there is a hesitation in speaking it out um this card is about hope it, it is about uh, seeing through a lot of deceptions seeing through the illusions and noticing where you are headed what people are doing what are they saying what's really happening and yet there is a hesitation towards taking an action or speaking up or expressing yourself. So this week the challenge is about expressing yourself. You know your truth, learn to express it this week. That's the message from the tarot. This week you may encounter situations where it will become a little difficult for you to put your views forward, but take this wisdom from the tarot. The sooner you do that, the sooner you express yourself, the quicker the situations are bound to change. That's the message from the tarot this week. And let's see what do the angels have in store for us. So a card has jumped out and you always take out, you always pay attention to the cards that jump out of the deck because they hold a special significance in the reading and they are a special message that the angels want you to know. So the card that has jumped out is acceptance. It's a beautiful card. I'm going to read out what the card says. It says, see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. What the angels are really trying to say is that um, you know the truth of the situation. You know what's really happening. It is about accepting that this is the truth and half the battles are won when you accept what's happening when you accept the truth of the situation the moment you say yes this is the truth and this is what's happening you are halfway through healing because the most important job of healing is to help uncover what needs to be uncovered and help you accept what happened so accept what's happening, accept the truth, accept your truth and see where the angels are leading you, see where your instincts and intuitions are telling you to go. Follow your instincts, accept yourself the way you are, accept the situations the way they are. Sometimes you cannot change things. Sometimes all you can do is accept them and change how you perceive them or react or respond to them. So it is not always about doing something to change the situation. It is sometimes just about looking at it from a different way or accepting it and understanding that the change has to happen here, not there. Um, for the, um, another message that the angels are bringing through is clear your throat chakra. Um, the more you clear your throat chakra, the more your communication increases and also it's related to your sacral chakra which is below the navel, which is about your identity, who I am. So it's again, it again ties into acceptance. So when you accept who you are and you express it clearly, you come out as a very radiant and flowing human being. So this week, focus on working on your throat chakra, focus on healing it, clearing it, saying, expressing, writing, singing, poetry, 
teaching any which way that feels right for you. Go ahead, express it, voice yourself, and have a happy week ahead. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.